Hi, I'm Sue. This is one of seven videos we've made about farm safety. We hope you get some great tips on how to protect your people and stay safe on your school farm, on your family farm, or on a farm you may be visiting. Hi guys, what are we up to? We've been learning about farm safety in class. And how to protect our people. We've been looking at this hierarchy of control poster, but we really don't get it. Yeah, I can't understand it. Well, we've been using this one in our lessons. Maybe it will help. Uh, it's got pictures at least, that's a help. Let's learn about it while we're on the job. I know Booker's mowing the lawns this afternoon, so let's put on our hats and come with us. Okay, so for the first step, we need to remove all the danger. That's going to be tricky because the lawn has to get mowed at some point. Okay, so if we can't remove the mowing altogether, can we swap it to something different? I'm not sure that's going to work either. So what's the next step in the hierarchy? Let's organise the mower to do a safer job. Is there a safety guard on it? Yes, there is. Can we do better though? Let's stick with the one we've got. So the fourth step says direct. What does that mean? It means we've got to have some rules. What directions what might be helpful while Booker's mowing? Maybe one person on the mower at a time. Good one. No standing around and watching. And only mowing while it, the kids are inside and no one is outside. Hey, what if you put a sign up to let people know that to stay away? Four great directions, you guys have got this. So the next step in the hierarchy is cover. What PPE might be helpful? Hide this top so everyone can see you. A hat because it's sunny. Good boots because you're working with machinery. Earmuffs because it's noisy. I reckon you've got the hierarchy of control under control now. Protect, Protect our, our people! people.